Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Judicious Fire, and I'm here with a new Castle Clash update. Uh, I was going to do an update preview. Uh, it, a lot of it was in translation this time. I was also a little bit unsure about whether or not the new enchantments were part of the Warden system. I paused on that for a while. All of a sudden, boom, the update hits iOS. I think it came... Uh, less than 24 hours after uh, Android received it. So IgG doing a good job putting out the uh, updates um, in sequence. So this is the very first uh, morning of uh, Castle Clash on iOS. Nothing better than a Saturday morning, uh, other than a Saturday morning with a Castle Clash update. It's been great. I've uh, been able to leisurely take the day and go through all of the uh, new game modes uh, and new features that are here in CC. I'm going to make this one brief. Uh, I don't have to go into any detail with each of these uh, features. I think I can do subsequent videos on the new heroes and the new game modes and have them each be their own thing. So let's just look at the real biggies here in CC. Uh, we are not getting any new warehouse slots. Don't expect that. We are getting two new uh, hero altar slots. That is to accommodate the two new heroes. We are getting two new heroes in this game. And the heroes are Rambard and Jumbear. Uh, Rambard and Jumbear are two uh, heroes that are found very, in a very distinct uh, ways. Jumbear, uh, the larger one on the right, is going to be available through hero rolling using gems. Or it can be a completely free-to-play hero. And I think that's an excellent move on IgG's part. I think that through events, uh, particularly the uh, balloon, hot air balloon event that comes for about, you know, two weeks, during that time you can engage in activities such as dungeons, arena, you know, team here be monsters, basic gameplay, and accumulate, um, you know, turkeys, and I think it's witches hats or something. And once you've accumulated enough, you're able to trade them in for the necessary 200 soul stones required to get Jumbear, making it completely uh, free to play. I will say that the quantity of resources that you have to accumulate during that balloon event, it is quite high. So you're going to have to really, really grind. I found that the most effective way to get those items during uh, balloon events is through the dungeons because you must keep in mind that the dungeons refresh all day long and very rapidly, thereby giving you far more opportunities than a Hero Be Monsters or even an arena trial. So make sure to use your dungeons as much as possible. And I would recommend if you have cards or save up some cards, because I think you're gonna need those extra attempts to get the proper uh, soul stones. Uh, I went ahead and I got the hero this morning. Uh, the hero is right here. I will do a separate uh, video on the hero, uh, but we have this guy at 17,000 dodge. I got to tell you, um, wait for my review on this hero. This is a good hero. Free to play available or not? Because I heard some grumbling already. You know, if it's going to be a free to play hero or a balloon event hero, it's going to be a crappy hero. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a good hero. Uh, and uh, I can't wait for my build video on him. Um, so tune in for that. Uh, the other hero can only be acquired through um, the uh, Floating Isle event, just like Hot Shot and uh, Zeph. We're going to be really hard to get, just like Bloody Mary, terribly hard to get. Uh, I will say when it comes to the uh, the new hero, uh, Fat Bear, or whatever his name is, uh, the one that I rolled for, I, I had the option of free through uh, Soul Stones. I could have done that. I had probably three of those discount cards that allows you to receive like a 25% discount on gem rolling for a half an hour. Or you get 20 at a discount, 20 rolls, whichever one comes first, okay? So it's not a, truly a half an hour. If you keep going boom, 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 all of a sudden you're, you're out. I told me I'm gonna have the willpower to just try one. Do a discount card and do 20 rolls. On roll number 10, Fat Bear King, okay? So it was one of the easiest heroes in my memory that I've ever had. I couldn't believe, it. I said, whoa, wait. 
So there it was. And I, I was going to have the self-control to stop after the discount ran out after 20. Um, we have a brand new game mode in CC. We have Lost Land. Lost Land has come to iOS here on a Saturday morning. It is uh, It ended on Friday. It is two days a week. It is going to be uh, a game mode where we choose a specific team and we fight through multiple stages. If you've beaten the first stage, you move on to the harder stage. Beat that, you moved on to the even more insane, insanely difficult stage. Uh, you will receive prizes in the game, in the game mode. Those prizes are bonuses for your team. You may not use those bonuses or prizes outside of the Lost Land game mode. They are only to benefit your heroes in that game mode. At the end of all your gameplay, you will receive actual resource rewards that can be used outside of Lost Land and that will help to benefit and upgrade your heroes. So it's going to be a, a neat one. I'll do a video on uh, Lost Land. I'm looking forward to seeing how the first run will go. Uh, we have a new, and this one's pretty big, we have a new uh, Destiny, not Destiny, uh, that Archdemon, look at that Archdemon uh, score, got out, got my uh, 11 plus billion, uh, we have a, um, a new game, uh, we have a new extension to our Destiny system, okay, Showing 96 out of 97, they have yet to release uh, the the skinny guy with the harp, okay? Um, so we look at uh, these uh, Destiny screens. Each one of them goes, let's take a Demogorgon, for example. Each one of them uh, currently, but prior to the update, went up to level 60. And in order to get them uh, now to max, it would be level 80. So we added uh, level 61 through 80 in Destiny. When you get to level 80 in Destiny, you can acquire skill 14. Now, what has uh, done, I went through all my heroes, uh, every hero I have in the altar, and I took them all to Destiny level 79. What that required was hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of millions of blue crystals and honor badges into the hundreds and of uh, hundreds of millions. The reason I was able to do that is because I got all these books sitting around. I don't have anything to do with, the, with books. Once a month, a hero comes. That's it. So I just save on books. And what am I going to do with all these crests and, and insignias that I collect? This has always been my rationale. Do I take a uh, the 800 level five insignias I've collected over the last couple of years and forge them into level tens because that's where they go now, it would cost me a couple of hundred million uh, red crystals. It would be m worth more by spending through that process than it would be just to save and get a level 10. So I just sold off all my old uh, crests and that was the only way I was able to do it, to afford the blue crystal uh, expenditure on this. Uh, so got them all to 79. Uh, I have the option of taking about three heroes currently to skill level 14. I will do a video on which heroes uh, I think, uh, you know, might really benefit from skill 14. And that will make that big leap or boost in their abilities. Uh, there aren't many. Just like 13, there's about three four or five that really get a boost and the others just get a statistical increase. They do a little bit more damage or last a little bit longer. Um, we have a, uh, so in addition to Destiny and Skill 14, uh, we've got uh, a new pet. Uh, go to the pet warehouse. New pet came out. New pet is the, uh, the Mutant Brave Croc. Uh, I got Mutant Brave Croc at 27, goes to 35. Mutant Brave Croc, uh, I'm still fussing. I, I'm not entirely certain uh, how I'm going to run him. Uh, I think I'm going to do a video just on these pets and really explain this guy. I saw a couple of things in his skill description that are very intriguing. And it makes me happy that I didn't go and chase all of these 100% on prior pets. Because I would have made a mistake doing so. And I think that uh, he can really be utilized well if you have the proper... 
uh, hero on him, and you also have the proper uh, trait selection to kind of get this synergy with the hero and the pet. Uh, he does a tremendous amount of damage. He reduces the healing of the enemy. He specifically targets the one with the lowest health, just like a dove keeper. Uh, he deals damage equal to 1% of the enemy's total health and does that to all nearby targets. And he has an innate ability to gain crit ability and crit damage. So higher crit likelihood and much more damage. It's a real amazing uh, multifaceted pet. I'll do a, a, a video on him. And then the super pet version, which is exactly the same, except one fewer trait slot. And you get a lower statistical bonus as you uh, upgrade the pet. Uh, we have a um, we have three new enchantments in the game. Okay, three new enchantments in the game. It took me a while to find this darn screen. Three new enchantments in this game. Based on what I'm seeing, no, th none of these three really stand out to me as you know uh, really impactful to the game. They are all uh, kind of warden specific, if you will. One for brawlers, one for saints, and one for oracles. Okay, let's say you chose this oracle one, and let's just say that you know you defy the odds and you're able to take it up to seven. Uh, it will increase the accuracy of the hero to which it is placed by 17%. Now that's not huge. That's not a huge accuracy boost. Can't be discounted, but it's certainly not a huge accuracy boost. Now you think of something like a sharpen gives you like something like a 30 uh, percent, 30 to I don't know, 30 percent at least uh, accuracy boost. Uh, he all it also increases any three green heroes that are members of the Oracle faction and increases their attack by 22 percent for six seconds with a cooldown of six seconds. So it's it won't stack upon itself, but it is function functioning the entire time. Okay, there's like a, a, a brief millisecond transition between the next skill activation. So it won't stack, but it's always going to be operating. Um, these numbers, even at seven, don't really impress me. Also, the fact that it's relegated simply to specific warden factions. So if you've got like, a, you're using this, and you've got maybe, um, let's say it's on uh, Rosaline, okay? And you've got a Zeph and a Dove and a Rosaline, and the only three heroes left on your team. Well, Zeph and Dove aren't going to be benefiting from this in any way because they're not a member of the Oracle faction. I, I don't like that kind of a talent. Chance talents, talents that really, really reduce the ability to be useful to the whole team, uh, I'm a little wary of. I might change my mind about it a little bit later. Certainly there might be niche uses in Archdemon, Warden, and things of this nature. But in general gameplay, I'm pretty skeptical about these three uh, enchantments. Uh, we have a, uh, we did the pet, we did the two new heroes. Oh, we're going to have two new hero skins for the two new heroes. And we scroll through here. Uh, we see we have our new might titles. Uh, this is another addition to the game. Make sure that when you log into the new version of Castle Clash that you go through every one of these rows. Each of the blue boxes can be opened and a series of uh, rewards can be uh, gotten from them. Uh, let's roll uh, real quick into uh, AAK. What's that? What's that? Between, between fourth and second place. I haven't put a video out in about two days. I'm a Castle Clash player. I'm not a YouTuber. I've been busy playing Castle Clash and trying to get all this stuff <laughs> into effect and make progress. So when it comes time to make a Castle Clash video, I can actually say, hey, here's something. Okay, so I'll catch you on the next Castle Clash video. And I'm going to present the new hero fully maxed out, absolute beast mode build and watch him liquefy. 10 heroes at a time. I will see you soon. Thank you very much. I'll check you on the next one. All right, bye-bye.